Hi friends, happy Friday! This is my super beginner intro to Procreate, where I'll go over how to get started or transition from traditional mediums to the tablet. The first thing I do is make sure my settings are correct for my canvas. For print, the DPI should be at least 300, and I prefer 75 for digital, such as if I was planning to post only on Instagram or Tumblr. I almost always stick with 350 because I don't know when I will ever need to print something for class, the most common mistake I see beginners make is working on a white canvas. For one, it is very harsh on the eyes after prolonged periods of time, and two, it distorts your sense of color. Personally, I find a white canvas intimidating, and I over-scrutinize all my lines, leading to poor composition planning and workflow. So I opt for something neutral, such as a beige or light gray or lavender. I play around a bit and I often set the background to match the color of my mood that day. I decided I wanted to create my own brush folder, and I did so by sliding the left window down to reveal a blue plus button, and I named my folder Lilith because that's my Starbucks name. They have a hard time spelling Lilith, I think? Afterwards, I just go to the brush I like and I drag and drop. Here I am creating a test page where I organize all the brushes I want to use Similar to how I would do it in a sketchbook, it's a good way to get comfortable with the program and my rule of thumb is using 20% of the software to create 80% progress for my work. I recommend sticking to a dimension you are used to, for example, if your sketchbook is 9x12 or 5x7 like me. You can have a better grasp of line weight and textures while learning digital if you just transfer over the same canvas size as your traditional setup. Traditional colors use an additive method, meaning all color combinations will lead to black if you mix them. Digital is subtractive because all colors of light mixed together creates white. This means I don't need to use every single tool and adjustment for my painting or else I can lose track of the energy I started with when I first felt excited or compelled to draw something. The eyedropper tool is probably what I need every time I work with Procreate. Tap on the little roundish square on the left between the two sliding scales. Then I tap on the color on the canvas I want to reuse. I was taught at Art Center to blend colors this way, which is why I don't use a blending tool, the tiny hand symbol on the top right side. It's a more realistic way of blending, it enriches your painting and gives it more dimension, and you have better control over hard and soft edges. Color itself is a weird shimmering illusion and I can't go too deep into the subject right now, but having a good sense of color starts with working limited. Restricting yourself to a limited palette, only having one saturated hue, only working with complementary colors will teach your eye to see the in-betweens. I like to use this color slider here because it allows me to see the entire value spectrum, and value is the most important aspect of color. Since I don't have any information from the tactile aspect of drawing, because there is no vibration feedback from the pencil to my hand, I need to gain a new set of muscle memory for pressure sensitivity when working with digital. For my painting demo, I will be working on a sky painting. Sky paintings are a great way to practice using the brushes you just tried without the unnecessary pressure to get the anatomy right or to make something look accurately representational. I wanted to do a sunset painting at first, but I realized I gravitate towards the night sky and the moon and space and the universe, so I went with that instead. I start with the very back of the painting and work my way forward. Because I'm painting the night sky, I chose an almost black color, but it's not actually black. If I used pure black, first of all, there are many different blacks, but I can't get into that right now. But if I used pure black, it will be too flat and it won't blend well with the rest of my painting. Similar to painting with oil or acrylic, I have the same rules, so I don't use black for shadows. I work from dark to light. The light has hard and soft edges while the shadows and darks are flat. If 
you don't know what to draw, try drawing a sky wallpaper for your phone or tablet. I googled the dimensions for phone wallpapers and here is a default recommendation for both iPhones and Android. I will be including this drawing as a wallpaper for you to use, so if you like it, you can find the JPEG image in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, I look forward to creating more mini demos for you and I will definitely go in depth into Procreate in the future. If you feel inspired to draw a sky painting, whether it be digital or not, please share with me on Instagram with the hashtag LilithSpace. I would love to see what you created. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll talk to you soon, bye!